All right, welcome back to uh, my Victoria 2 Let's Play. No longer playing as Egypt, as I have formed Arabia. So, this is a really good deal. Oh, right, I can make a Nejid into a state. That's good. And let's go ahead and make sure I've got naval bases in my new territory. Oh, right, I don't have really any money. I need to be paying back my loans. And... Getting my tariffs down. And, uh... Focusing on colonization. So let's keep an eye on things. France is colonizing. Modena, repay debts. My guess is that they're in someone, yeah. Not really worth it. Oh, right, now that I've successfully uh, formed Arabia and annexed the only nation I was trying to influence, I should uh, start working on some other ones. Um, let's go ahead and go with... Uh, oh, I can't do Tunis because I have a truce. And I'm pretty sure I have one with Morocco as well. Yeah. Um, for now... Is there anyone who's not in anyone's sphere of influence that would be worth... That was in the sphere. Let's just take a look. Diplomacy. At some of the people who aren't in anyone's here, but would be worth influencing. I mean, the obvious choice, I guess, is some of my uh, fellow Arab states. Because then I can annex them by event, but honestly I can restore order on them really easily, so no. I think I'll just start working on Persia, and Russia's obviously going to fight me in it, but we'll see. Speaking of restoration of order, let's just march some people down this way. And I'll get ready to do that. Right, I've got lots of rebels going on. And I'll need to remind myself, when do these finish? October. Okay. Sounds good to me. I wish France would have taken a little bit longer to start colonizing, and is this... Austria? Yeah. Austria is getting some colonization in. Don't see that every time. Sure, go ahead. And we're gonna go work at the cement factory. I don't really care that much, though. My tech isn't really there for industry at the moment. So... There we go. Oh, all those rebels are gone. Still, I'll have an army over there. Or 
down here and ready to you know the next Oman as well that should help me increase my relations faster I want to end up investing in them some. Alright, I can repay my loan. And then inch tariffs down. So that my economy can get back on track. Cordial. Persia will be decent to get in my sphere. It's now September. Oh, and I could do some reforms. I think I'll hold off for a minute. Thought it was October, wasn't it? Oh, 29th. There we go. Protectorate. 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 Alright, that seals that off. Go. Let's go ahead and start in Volta and Togo. And look at the states here. This one stretches down and blocks a lot off. Congo does. And not close enough, right. Don't really want to fill in here when it'll be blocked off anyway from other powers. But that might be worthwhile. Let's see, where else can I colonize at the moment? Colonial map mode. Is this state even really worth it? Yeah, I mean, none of the states are particularly good. Or provinces. Um, so I guess I can get... Let's look at RGOs. Decent RGOs over here, so they might be worthwhile. Oh, lots of... Well, not lots of coal here, but... There is coal. So I think, yeah, that's all my points now. So, time to, uh... Let things get going. Some more mana wars. There, more tax efficiency. We'll get my income going. Oh, should get the research. Research. Because those pay for themselves very quickly. After this, I'll probably go for railroads or something. And I'd really like to get Volta, but I think France will compete there, and I don't think I can beat him. Let's 
really drop my spending here. Can influence Persia. Russia doesn't seem to be fighting me much here, that's curious. But I'm not going to complain. When do these finish? Okay. It's fine. Let me look at my encouragements. Um Yeah, that's fine for now. I really want to push literacy in my high pop states. France is competing in Volta and will probably be able to beat me. Um, I mean, I'll stay there to tie them up, but oh, I can invest in that colony. But I'm not very hopeful there. Still, things are going. Okay. Yeah, there's some competition. Maybe France will focus more on competing with the UK. And I'll be able to get Volta. The French get that state a lot. Oh, right, elections. to increase my relations a bit with France. Don't want them to hate me too much. Everything's going in Persia, okay. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna go with moralism. I really don't want laissez fair. Do do love the music in this game. Yeah. Okay, in a bit I'm gonna temporarily my truce with these guys expire? December. Okay. So I'm going to start influencing Tunis and Morocco then. Try to get them in my sphere. And then I can annex them by event because they're a part of my cultural union. And they'll be more of a pain to conquer than the nearby Arab states. Well, I'll think about it. I might just conquer them, too. There wouldn't be anyone to protect them. They're just a bit further away. Gonna be coming up pretty soon on my uh, date to get a new round of protectorates. UK is not pushing up this way yet, that's good.
I wish that the uh, some of these unsieves would have built naval bases. So that I would get the uh, extra ports for colonial points. Oh, UK doesn't like me right now. Do I have any great power ally? Yeah. Huh. can remove Persia from Russia's sphere of influence. And start putting them into mine. Aha! I was a little bit late on this, but... New land. So now, we'll go... to Bass Congo, so that'll help block that off. Oh, and I can create another protectorate in Togo. Can I invest here? Not yet. Let's see, I don't really want to go into these, I don't really care about Sahara. Is there good RGOs in Gabon? Terrible. Can't get any of these yet. Well, I think mostly speaking, there's a. Uh, I can also I'll need to start filling in pretty soon. There's not much left that's not blocked off. Here. Might as well see I can get one more. Oh, good job, Austria. Let's see, if I go for North Angola, I'll get this one little province. That's 29,000 people, not terrible. I think I'll go for Niger, though. And unpause. And again, I'm not going to create these colonies yet, because that'll tie up more colonial points. Don't really want to do that. Okay, I've built up some money, so I'll fund my troops a little bit. And go ahead, wait for that to build up, for morale to build up. Start funding my administration and education again. Lower tariffs, I can afford to do that even while funding my troops. Kind of. Residency? And invest in Volta. I'm just hoping that France, you know, maybe focuses more on some of these other places. And lets me have Volta. I don't think that'll happen, but I'll hold them off for a little bit. Alright. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is declare war, restore... Well, well, let me first just make sure that the great powers aren't interested in you. Nope. Good. Restore order. Restore order. And that should grill me pretty well. Ooh, and 
there's a crisis going on. One that I'm not obligated to join. So I'm on a different continent. Mmm, and Belgium's your great power backer. You're kind of screwed. Yeah, should crush them, no problem. war real quick. Tax efficiency. She's starting to get decent techs. There we go. Yeah, come on, I really don't care. You can try. Will I be eligible to invest again in November? Okay, I need to keep my eye on that. And here... Okay, not till April. November 25th, more specifically. That's fine. I think I'll go ahead and quickly annex Abu Dhabi, finish up the episode, and then the next one, I'll quickly annex, oh, Graz, Italy. Okay, invest here now. It's using up a lot of colonial points. Oh, Britain's going to be grabbing North Angola there, it looks like, so they're probably also... Not colonizing up here yet, that's interesting. Hm, crisis resolved. Okay, how many points do I have withdrawn in here so far? It might be worthwhile to just... let France have it. So I'm clearly not going to win. And perhaps I could make more- yeah, I'm going to withdraw so that I can colonize somewhere I have a chance. Kind of start rushing down here and filling in. Italy's grabbing uh, Eritrea, as they sometimes do. I really would have liked to get Volta. It's got a decent pop, but maybe I'll grab it in a colonial war later on. Occupation of Dubai. Cool. Dubai is a cool city. Not in this time frame, though. In this time frame, it's almost nothing. But to, in modern times, a lot of fun. Build up some artillery. Bring Persia into my sphere. Get a few more points with them to in case I need to spend some. There we go. Oh, I'm starting to lose money again. I can drop some of my military spending.
I don't actually have to fight battles, just do some basic, real battles anyway, just some basic occupation. And next Abu Dhabi. There we go. Now I should be able to turn it into a state pretty soon. Maybe I need to put some uh, bureaucrats there. So I'll go ahead and do that. From send. There's plenty of bureaucrats. Maybe it just takes a minute to update. So if that's the case, clergymen again. Portugal declared war on Algeria. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Anyway, I'll go ahead, do the next round of colonies, and cut the episode there. Where else? Don't really care about that. But don't have very many options, so that'll do for now. Eh, Kenya first. And I guess that's as good a place as any to leave the episode. Working my way down, I'm gonna seal off a good bit of Africa for myself. Should be good. Finish up this war. And, uh, annex Oman. And then I'll... come and get some of Morocco. And Tunis. In fact, I've got enough that if I need to discredit someone, I can. So, I I remember to be doing it next time. I'm gonna go ahead and start my influence on Tunis. And balance my budget, I suppose. And I think that'll be all for today. So uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.